Hey, what's happening, you guys? We're today. This is chapter seven. Uh, we're starting a new one, and we're dealing with transformations. Um, so today we've got scale diagrams and enlargements, and the focus is to be able to draw enlargements and interpret scale diagrams of enlargements. All right. So scale diagrams are a diagram that's an enlargement or reduction of another diagram. So what we have over here is we have our original. Another word for this would be like actual as well. It's what we start with, all right? And over here we have our enlargement. This could also be called our photo, our model, um, anything that kind of depicts that it's not the original, all right? So we've got the sign here and we've blown it up. All right. Now, when would we use scale diagrams? Well, architects use it. We also have uh, painters, tattoo artists, um, as well. We have cartographers, and these are map makers. All right, and we also use scales in photographs. All right, now who uses scale diagrams? Well, we have a lot of technicians um, dealing with drawing plans for houses, things like that. We have uh, carpenters. Um, we also have um, people that um, make furniture. Also, this is my favorite example here. Um, if you ever want to put together a barbecue, um, people that put together barbecues. All right, you know, you guys know. Um, also, IKEA furniture. We use these um, scale diagrams. Um, so that we can make something look appropriate in real life. Um, we also talk about proportions, all right? So right now we've got corresponding lengths, um, matching lengths on the original diagram and the scale diagram. So we're going to call this our original. And this one's going to be our um, enlargement or our, act, or our um, photo. And what we have here, let's label A, C, and B. Well, the corresponding lengths in our enlargement would be A, B, and C. They're just all proportional. Now, I always think about making cookies, all right? So making cookies. Say you want to have a party, and you have a recipe that you can make, you know, 10 cookies. Well, if you double that recipe or enlarge that recipe, we need to make, we're going to get 20 cookies, but you need to for all the ingredients, you need to double everything. If you doubled one thing but didn't double the other, it wouldn't turn out right. So if we added four eggs instead of two, we'd have a super runny um, concoction. We'd have to add in some flour and things like that. All right, And that's proportional. Next, um, the scale factor. All right, So we've dealt with our scale statement, and now we've got our scale factor. Right, It's a fraction the length of the scale side versus the length of the original side. And I also like to um, talk about it this way. I like to say photo over actual. Our actual always stays on the bottom. Okay. So the scale factor is bigger than 1. If the scale diagram is an enlargement. So an example of that would be 2 to one. This would be two times bigger. All right. Now, if the scale factor is smaller than one, um, the scale factor is smaller than one if the scale diagram is a reduction. So, example, we've got one over seventy. That means we've reduced it, so it's seventy times smaller. Our photo is seventy times smaller. 
All right, so let's take a look at this mosquito for a second. The mosquito in real life, the actual length of the mosquito is 12 millimeters. Determine the scale factor. So let's write our scale statement. We've got photo over actual. And we've got our photo length of, oh, we've got to measure it down here. And we measure it, and it is 56 millimeters over our actual length of 12 millimeters. All right. Um, we go 56 millimeters divided by 12 millimeters, and we get a scale factor of 4.6 over 1, which means that it's in an enlargement, and this is our scale factor. All right, so this says it's our photo is 4.6 times bigger than the actual. All right, let's try another one. We've got a scale diagram of, of a bracket below, so I don't know, it's a bracket for um, putting shelves together or whatnot. And we're going to use a scale factor of 1.5. So let's write our scale statement. We've got photo over actual. And our scale factor is going to be 1.5 over 1. So we're going to measure all these, uh, me these sides. And we get 12 millimeters. Then we get 37 millimeters. On the bottom, we have 37 as well. Then we have 12 over here, and 25, and 25 millimeters. So what we need to do is if we have a scale factor of 1.5, that means we need to multiply each one of our dimensions, our lengths, by 1.5. And we're going to find that our new shape will have a length of 55 0.5 millimeters and over here we'll have a new length of 18 millimeters and then our inside angle our inside length here will have a length of 37.5 millimeters all right so what that'll do is it'll give us a proportional enlargement of this bracket all right try these go to it